TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Wednesday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We got 30 minutes to go until the start of trading, and we got markets sitting in positive territory. We got all the big tech stocks coming out with their earnings this week. We got three of them last night Microsoft, Google, and Apple, all of them faring relatively well today. Got Apple a little bit in the negative. Right now, though, you got an SP. Positive by four points. You look at the acceleration middle of the day yesterday. You trade down from about 44.10. We make a low of about 43.65. And just like that, folks, we're right back at about 4,400 in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100 futures back about 15,000 after trading below 14,800 yesterday. You're positive by a third of a percent coming from the overnight session. You got the Dow right now positive by 14 points. That's with Boeing out with their numbers this morning. Boeing catching a bid this morning as well. The Russell up about 11 points, trading at 2198. Bitcoin continues to trade higher. We almost made 41,000 just recently at about 7:30 a.m. We've backed off a bit, but still relatively strong on the Bitcoin and the crypto sector. You got crude up to 7260. We're currently trading at 7209, positive by 44 cents. Gold hovering at about 1800 as it has this week. You made it up to 1810 overnight. That seems to be the boundary that we've been in the last five days. You're currently sitting at 1803. And we jump to notes and bonds right now. You get the 10 year negative by seven ticks. We're talking about a yield right now in the 10 year of 1.26%. You get the 30 year negative 20 ticks. We jump over to the volatility index this morning. Got the VIX trading at 1886. All right, let's jump around to some of the companies that had numbers last night. Microsoft, volatility indeed. You'd close out the session at 286.54. Excuse me. You immediately trade down to about 278. Conference call began later in the evening, and that's where they came out with their guidance, their forecast. All is relatively well as they guide to the market's liking. You trade positive. We're up by about $4 on Microsoft coming into the uh, opening bell. Google shares. Trading higher as well. We closed at 27.35 yesterday. We're up about 35 bucks at 27.71 right now. Apple, the chip shortage may hit them. That seems to be what's hitting them this morning. You got Apple trading down to 142.50 overnight. We're trading at 145.58 right now. We'll talk about Boeing coming up. Strong numbers from Boeing. They're going to be keeping the 140,000 workers that they got on the payrolls. Uh, an indication that they will have enough business to keep those workers on those payrolls. Boeing up about $11 in the pre-market so far this morning. We've got some earnings coming up after the bell tonight. We got Facebook. We got a Fed day. We got a Fed announcement at 2 o'clock, press conference at 2.30. Quite a week in the markets, folks. Live programming all day at TFNN. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with the morning market kickoff. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. 